Hey, so I found this cool way of visualizing dissonance while I was messing around in FL Studio. Um, so basically what my setup is right now is I have three times OSC and it's just a pure sine wave, okay? Um, these two other oscillators are completely all the way down. I'm actually gonna center it here, but uh, basically I have the middle C center several octaves above where it normally is. So basically that means that the notes that I'm going to be playing are way below human hearing. And so you'll actually be able to see the notes in free limiter. Pretty cool. So like the, those bumps are literally the, the pressure going up and down. So that's kind of cool. Um, so what we're, so, so then I was like, okay, well one note, that's cool. But what about if I do a fifth? Oh, look at that. You get this other bump. And that other bump, you can kind of see it's about, is it five? Is it five or six or four, something like that, of the, of the initial bumps? Okay, here's a fourth, right? A major third, so it's getting longer. A minor third, just switch to a minor third, even longer of a bump now. And then a, a second. A major second uh, and then a minor second also known as a half step nobody calls it a minor second no well, maybe people do I don't know anyway and as you can see this bump is really long and yeah so it's a just a cool way of visualizing how dissonance works so yeah thought that was really interesting and um, there you go hopefully that was cool thanks for watching